Hello everyone, I'm Nightbuzzer and welcome back to another tutorial regarding Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to render still shots. At first I found it really hard to render still images as I didn't know where to start and I couldn't find any great tutorial that would help me. So I had to figure it out on my own but now I'm gonna share my experience with you and show you an easy way to do that. Now I have this bakery scene from the marketplace which I'm gonna link down below in the description but uh, yeah I know what happened. Some texture glitches here and this glass is glitching too but in path chasing it looks great so I'm just gonna ignore them and your scene will look just fine if you download it but yeah just wanted to point that out. So we're gonna start by opening the content browser and creating a folder in here called let's say sequence then open it right click go to the cinematics tab and add a level sequence and I'm gonna name this bakery for example double click to open it and it's gonna bring you the sequencer right here now what you want to do is you want to click on this camera icon right here which is going to create a scenic camera actor. Then it's going to jump right into the scenic camera actor and now you can move it to any position you want and to set up your frame. So go and position your camera where you want it to be and then come back so that I can show you how to render that image. Okay so I've set up my scene and now we're ready to render but before that uh, you need to go into the edit tab plugins and make sure that the movie render queue this one is checked and if not check it and then you need to restart your engine when we created that camera actor in the sequencer it created 150 frames which means if you tap render now it will render all of these so if you want to render only one frame which means one picture you just grab it the end and slide it until it says one frame and also this reg slider and from this one you can adjust so that you can see the picture more clearly okay so after you're ready you need to make sure that these green and red sliders are uh, on the edges of the of the frame. So after that's ready you need to click on this button which is gonna take you to the movie render queue. You're gonna check if you have the right sequence here and it is, mine is called bakery just how I named it and then you have to click on this settings button. In here these are all the settings for export. So output here you can choose where to where to save the file so I'm gonna choose here and the output resolution I'm gonna set mine to 3440 by 1440p then this is if you want to use lumen but I'm gonna delete it because I'm gonna use the path tracer and I don't want JPEG either so from here I'm gonna choose the path tracer and then I'm gonna choose for this example PNG sequence but I usually use EXR and we need to include one more setting which is anti-aliasing and this is gonna count the samples for the path chasing and I would like about 512 samples and you need to check this override anti-aliasing box and set it to none then just click accept Uh, just a quick note, if you're using Lumen, obviously you don't need so many samples, maybe 32 or something will do just fine. And then you just have to click render local. And now we wait. Oh, seems like it's gonna take a while. So I'll get right back to you <laughs> after it's done. <laughs> okay, so my Unreal Engine crashed and when I open it again all the materials are fixed don't ask me why, don't know but let's move on so let's say you want to render from multiple cameras now there's two ways to do that you can either move this, the other one after you took the shot and 
move to your next shot. But if you might do some changes to the scene and you want to retain those cameras, you can also add more. So I'm gonna create another scene camera actor. Okay, so I'm gonna drag the this red slider until the next frame or how many cameras you want to have. And I'm gonna click on this camera plus icon and choose Cine Camera Actor 2. You're gonna see that it's created here. And now if you drag the, the green slider only to the second camera, it's gonna render only this one. So let's do a quick test. Oh, sorry, the wrong button. I'm just gonna do the basics and just test it out. And you can see it rendered only the second image. So this was my tutorial on how to create image renders. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Then I guess I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.